Hello all, Shoestring here. I have to do another gigawatt check because I need to know how much electricity I'm going to need. In other words, how many watts. Here's our kilowatt. I have pushed the watt button. And right now, this extension cord is pulling one zero watts and nothing is turned on. But I will be turning on here shortly my wife's oxygen machine. This is Shoestring Likes Her Oxygen. I'm also going to be turning on this Arctic Air, which I've done another video on. And uh, this is very helpful. And the lamp, if you can see it there. The little lamp that goes with it. And I'm going to find out just how much watts each of these take. So I know approximately what type of inverter and what type of battery I'm going to need to do my little setup over here. Probably put it over there in the corner where it's out of the way, but if the power goes out, she can still be cool with the Arctic air that she likes a great deal. And with her little oxygen machine. And we'll see how that works. We'll do it one at a time and put it all together and see how well this all works out. Okay, first is the lamp. See, turned it on. It is 8 watts. Okay, 8.1. Bouncing between 8 and 8.1. There's a 7.9. You get the idea. We'll just say 8 out of general principle. Now, the Arctic Air. Let's go ahead and do the Arctic Air. Turn it on. It is now on. Oh, in case you're wondering, I leave that top off a little. Just gently put it on, because it's such a pain to get off when you want to put in more water or ice. Anyway, in case you're wondering, that's why. Arctic Air is on. And we are now at... 17.4. I have the Arctic Air on medium because that's where Mrs. Shoestring likes it. And since she's in charge of it, that's what we have. Okay, so Arctic Air and little light there is, uh, we'll do some more rounding. I like to round up though, so 17.2, 17.7. I'm just going to say 18 for the fun of it. Because as you can see, it is moving around. Sometimes it takes a while for these things to get settled. At the moment, because I'm testing and I want everything to work out without any problems, I am using my uh, solar generator right here. It's uh, about 10 years old. And it still works pretty good. It has some issues, I'll admit. This plug right here no longer works. Don't know why, but it doesn't. And uh, battery goes to three. That's flickering off and on because it's in use. It used to have four, but that doesn't work anymore. So just lost about, what? Well, that'd make it about a fourth of its power. But it still works, and I can use it for little things like this. And when the power goes out, it's very helpful. We'll turn the coffee pot on and do other things. All right, in just a moment, we will put on the oxygen. So, and we'll see how well that works out. All right, the oxygen is now on, as well as the Arctic air and the light, which is what I was testing. How many watts was all three? And we are at Give it a moment. Looks like 105. It's bouncing around a little. But we'll say 105. Which is good, which means something small like a 200 watt inverter would work for this. And I could easily run those and make this all work out well. So, once again... That's how you check the wattage to find out what size inverter you need. And it can also help you determine 
what size battery you use. Now to do that I have to determine how long I'm going to run all this, but that's not the point of today's video. The point of today's video was to use kilowatt and find out how much wattage. And why I determine the wattage is 105, because it's still bouncing around quite a bit. We want to round up. And that's the answer to our question. If you like this, if you have any comments, please put it down in the comment section. I hope this helps you when you're figuring out how much watch you need to run your equipment. If you like this type of video, please subscribe and like it and shoestring 